Hey, what's up guys? Hey, you know, uh, the biggest challenge or one of the biggest challenges to chasing your goal, hunting your dream in the day-to-day -day minutia of that hunt is getting started. So there's two keys to the day-to-day -day mundane work required to be great. And the first one is you got to just get started. And I'm gonna give you guys an example of how that looks. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I don't wanna work out today. I'm in, I'm in a funk, but I know part of my dream and vision is being a, a motivator and inspirer to people. And part of my vision of how that looks is a person who's really fit and inspires and invokes emotion in people of all ages to be the best version of who they are. So I have to be fit in order for my dream to work. And so in days like today, my dream supersedes my excuses, right? My why is bigger than my excuses. So the step one is you have to start. On days you don't want to get started on that book or that project or that workout, you just have to start. That's step one. So I'm going to do a 20 to one workout, 20 reps down to one with four exercises, two each for biceps and chest. I'm gonna show you guys what getting started looks like. All right, so first round, 20 curls. Ooh, ah, 20 curls, guys, 20 curls. 40 pound dumbbells. Ooh, I need three more. So 20 to 1, guys, if you don't know or remember, is 20 of every exercise, then 19, then 18, down to 1. All right, so that's uh, was that 17 or 16. I'll do 14. I'll do four more to be sure. Here we go. All right. Now I gotta do 20 dumbbell presses with 70 pound dumbbells. 20 dumbbell presses with 70 pound dumbbells. All right, that was 20, right? 20, 20 presses. Now we're gonna do 20 hammer curls. 20 hammer curls. I don't normally or always double up on the body parts, but today 
I am. All right, so we did 20 curls with 40s. Whew, we did 20 presses with 70s. Now we're doing 20 hammer curls with 30s. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Five more guys. Here we go, five more. Alright. Alright, so now I gotta do dumbbell flies, 20 reps. 20 reps. Twenty reps with fifty pound dumbbells. All right, here we go. Dumbbell flies. Fourteen guys, fourteen, six more. Six more guys. Choose a weight guys that you can do about 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 reps in that range. If you can't do 15 or so, it's too heavy. Um, if you can do more than 22 or 23 of them, it's too light. Oh, we yeah. got. Yeah, let's count again. Fourteen. Six more. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'll do seven guys to make sure. So that's the 20 round, right? 20 round is done. Next, next up, 19 of all of them. 19 curls with 40s, 19 presses with 70s, 19 hammer curls with 30s, 19 flies with 50s. Okay, so I started now. Now I'm into it. Now I'm into it, right? So that's the key. You know, sometimes, you know, it, it's, it's a, chasing your dream is gonna be like a job. You have to, it's, it's a commitment you make. And loyalty is, is, is critical. So once you decide what you want to be, every day is like going to, going to work. Some days you don't want to do it. But you got to be committed and loyal to it. So half the battle is getting started. Half the battle is just putting your, your, your seat in that chair and getting to work. Right, sitting your butt at that desk and getting to work. All right, I'll come back in a little bit and show you what the other critical step is. So two, two steps that are critical. One is you got to get started. I'll give you the second critical step in a little bit.
All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back, guys. So the first step, again, first step to taking on a big thing, right? Your, your dream, your vision is big. So, so sometimes along the way, the mundane acts, the mundane days, the day-to-day -day grind of getting after that dream is hard. So when you're in the moment, a study session, a workout session, a music session, whatever it is you're chasing, when you're in the moment, guys, sometimes it's hard to start. So step one is get your butt in the seat. Get your butt in the gym. Get your butt, get your, your tennis shoes on. Get started, right? Don't think about how long it is, how many reps you got to do. Just get started. So when I did that 20 to 1, 20 to 1 is a big number. It's 210 reps per body part, right, total. So to think about that before I start is daunting, right? But I tell myself, just get started. Just get, just, just get, just get the 20 round done, right? Just finish the 20 round. Right, and then do the rest later. Just get that out the way, right? Number one. Number two, step two is envision the halfway, the halfway point, right? Envision getting to the halfway point. See, when I was a kid, guys, I lived in Washington State, okay, in, in grammar school, like uh, fifth, sixth, seventh grade, okay? And there was, there's lakes all over the place in Washington. So there was this lake we would go to in the summertime. Okay, and out a ways at this lake, maybe, I don't know, it seemed like 100 yards, but it was probably like 30, 40 yards away, there was a dock where all the adults and the big kids would swim to in the summer and sunbathe or hang out or do whatever teenagers do, right? So swimming to the dock became a rite of passage. It became a line of, of, of separation between kids, like I was, and people who were teenagers or adults, okay? So even though I could swim, that was a goal for every kid at my age to get to that dock one day. So I remember one summer trying to do it, and I would, I would, I would get like 20 yards into it, and I would, I would come back, I would pet, I would get scared and come back. And then the next summer, I would try again. I would get like 30, 40 yards out there, and I would panic and come back. Right, it was so scary, right? Because the further I got, I would think, oh my God, the, the shore is getting further and further away. And that's scary, right? Because you, you're, you're going, and in the beginning, you're not too scared because you can still stop and go back. But the further you get from that shore, the more fearful you become, right? But what I found out, guys, that third summer, what I found out was this, right? I was, I, I, I was, I was dead set hell-bent on making it to the dock this one summer. So I started out, right? And I was like, I was mad at myself for not doing it yet. I was intent on getting there. And I swam, and I swam. And I remember not even looking back, right? Or not even knowing how far I was. But at some point, I knew I was too far to go back, right? I was too far to go back. I was halfway between the shore and the dock, Right, I was halfway between the shore and the dock, and at that point, this adrenaline kicked in because I realized I was either going to drown or make it to there to the dock or make it to shore. It was equidistant from the shore. There was no need going back. I might as well finish it. So I was either going to drown, going back to safety, drown, going to heroism, right, going to glory, or make it to glory. I only had three choices. I was either going to drown going back, right, being a chicken. I was going to drown going for glory, or I was going to make it to glory. I was not going to make it back to the shore. That was not an option. So I learned in that moment, guys, that sometimes that's the key, right? Once you get halfway of writing that book, once you get halfway of writing that paper, once you get halfway of studying for that test, once you get halfway through 100 burpees, once you get halfway through a 20 to 1, the rest is easy. The rest is easy, right? Because the momentum carries you the rest of the way. And so I'm at, I'm at round 10, that's midway, right? But really, it's more than midway because, because 20 to 1 is a total of 210 reps, right? So 10 to 1 is only 55 reps. Right, so I, so I have 10 rounds to go, but I'm more than halfway, more than two-thirds away in terms of reps, right? But mentally, guys, all I shot for was halfway, right?
right? So I encourage you guys to do that. On the days you don't want to go for a run, right, just put your shoes on to start and then just tell yourself, I'm going to get five blocks in. On the days you don't want to go on that bike and do that Peloton class or whatever you're doing, right, just tell yourself, get on the bike, get 20 minutes in, get halfway. On the days you don't want to do my workout and you just log in, just get started. And then, and, and then once you get started, just tell yourself, let me get a half hour in. So get to the halfway point, guys, in your endeavors, in your dreams, in your goals. Start it and then get halfway. All right? Start it, step one, and then get halfway and let the momentum carry you forward. All right? So, guys, follow me, follow me now. I'm going to finish off with my last, uh, not my last two. I'm going to go round 10 now. Down to nine, down to one, all right? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come along for the journey. But now I'm halfway, guys. The rest is easy. <sighs> 10 round now, guys. On the 10 round, top of the mountain, guys. Top of the mountain. Top of the mountain. On our way down. We gotta get 10 curls with 40 pound dumbbells. Here we go. One. <sighs> And we got 10 dumbbell presses, guys. 10 dumbbell presses with 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Here we go. Here we go. A good friend of mine, guys, a good friend of mine, Kevin Croy, once told me, I was telling him I, I was going through a rough patch in my life, maybe financially or my job or something, and he asked me how I was doing, and I said, it feels like I'm pushing a boulder up a hill, and he told me in his wisdom, my boy Kevin got wisdom, he told me in his, in, in his infinite wisdom, yeah, but when you get to the top of that mountain, it's going to roll down like a mofo, right? So yes. When we're doing these things like it's a life metaphor, right? Just get to the halfway point. That's the top of the hill. It's a push. It's a grind. But once you get there, guys, it's all downhill from there. It's all downhill. So 10, 10 dumbbell presses, 70 pound dumbbells. Here we go, guys. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. Ooh, two more. That's nine. Ooh, one more. One more. Come up there. Ooh. That's ten, guys. All right. We have 10 hammer curls, 10 hammer curls with 30s. Oh. All right. It's about fight, guys. It's about fight. You know, have a little fight in your spirit. That's 10. And we got 10 flies, guys. After that, it's running downhill. Then it's all single digits, right? All single digits. Let's go, 10 flies. 10 flies, guys. 50 pound dumbbells. Let's go, 10. Here we go. Let's go, guys. Here we go. That's one. Ah, uh, that's two. Ah, uh, that's three. Ah, uh, that's four. Ah, uh, that's five. Ah, uh, that's six. Ah, uh, that's seven. Ah, uh, that's eight. Ah, uh, that's nine. Ah, uh, mm, 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 that's ten. Woo! All right, that's ten, guys. All right, so now. I'll do one more film. Nine rounds. What a nine round. Again, this is not about a workout video. It's about a mentality video. 
mentality. So sometimes, guys, that grind is, is hard. You know, fighting for our dream is hard and challenging. And we're in a moment, a workout, a study session, something where it seems like it's, you don't want to do it, right? Make yourself get in the chair, get in the desk, get on the bench, get in the gym, put your shoes on. Just start. That's step one. Step two is just fight your way to get to the halfway point, right? If you're going to study for two hours, just get an hour in. Like, mentally tell yourself, I'm going to get an hour in. One hour, that's it. And then a break, right? If, if it's a, a paper you have to write, a 10-page paper, just get five down. Get halfway. And once you get to the halfway point, it carries itself, right? Here we go. Nine curls. Nine curls, guys. Here we go. All single digits. Let's go. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine. Woo! Here we go. Nine presses. Nine presses. Remember, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, all the way down. Now we're all nine. Now we're all nine. Woo! Here we go. Nine presses. Let's go. guys off camera so remember two keys guys two keys to fighting to the grind fighting through the grind the process those those days that get challenging and mundane and difficult right step one is get used to just getting into the chair right just sitting down at the desk just putting your shoes on taping your wrist up just get started just get started number two right once you get started have a, have a clear focus and a vision on getting halfway. Get halfway. Don't think about the whole thing, the whole two hours, the whole 20 to one workout, the whole hour workout. 
just get halfway. Right? Mentally, just get halfway. And once you get there, the momentum will take you the rest of the way. I promise you. The momentum, right, will take you the rest of the way because you'll realize I've come too far to only come this far. Right? I've come too far to only come this far. So let's go.